In this demo I'm going to talk a little bit about um, styling specific items on your page. So what we have here is we have input text fields and what we actually want to do is we want one of the fields to have the background of this text area uh, in a different color. Right? So the first thing that people tend to do is they just go over um, directly to the style okay? and they can go over and say okay the background color for example here we're going to pick up something different let's say yellow like that okay and then they are a little bit surprised to see that the yellow is actually applied to the label area okay it's basically not just to the label it's the whole area behind the field okay so what is important to understand is that the text field is actually composed of several areas and if you actually want the field itself to be in yellow this definition of the background color needs to be placed actually in the content style and when you do this you get the yellow background for the field so this is the very basic understanding of the separation between inline style and the content style okay and there's a similar thing that you can go and do for the um, label style okay so you can go over here and for example say this is red and then you get the label to be in a different color All right. now the tricky part is that um, doing it like this is maybe okay if you just do it in one page somewhere in your application but my assumption is that you're going to actually use this yellow coloring in several places in your application and if you hard code it like this inside a specific page this is actually part of your page now so this definition is part of your source code and if you're doing it in multiple pages and you then want to change something you actually need to go to each one of the pages locate a specific field and change it so a better way to do it is by using a style sheet and defining this um, style in a separate file right? and the right way to do a style sheet in an ADF faces application is to actually create a skin so I know a lot of you basically think that the skin is only needed if you want to change globally the whole uh, look and feel of a specific item in your application but in reality you can use a skin to just define some useful style sheet that you're going to use in specific places in your application and again JDeveloper um, 11.1.2 makes it very easy to create a skin all you need to do is go to your view um, project okay, and select to create a new skin Okay. let's call this one our custom skin okay we can extend um, the default and click OK and when you do this you basically get a new skin file which is custom CSS your project is all set up with the right uh, definitions uh, with the skin here with the Trinidad config and Trinidad skin files and if you actually look at the skin file at the source right now you don't have anything which is great because basically what it means is that when you're going to run your application everything is going to behave the same and now you can start defining new styles here so for example you can define something called shy1 as a skin okay and then you can put in here your definition of a style so for example go back here right and we pick up this field take out this thing from here and put it in here that can be my skin okay so when we go to this field what we're going to do now is instead of putting uh, the styles hard coded in here we're going to reference the shy one style that we created in our CSS over here but what you can see now is that this actually again applied to the whole background of this item and you want to go and actually apply just for the background of the field okay so you can not just go over and say I want to have this shy one in the content style here okay because when you do this um, nothing actually happens right? um, so the right way to do it is actually go over here and you want to actually skin the component so how do you actually do it and um, this is where it actually becomes helpful to use the skin editor to see how the correct way to do it is and you can see the input text here right and if you saw my skin editor demo you know that you can go into the pseudo elements select the content and you can actually skin this specific item so for example we can go and say background color here is going to be 
yellow okay and we probably don't need an image then so I'm going to remove the image like that so this would be how you would go and apply a global skin if you now look at the source for your application this is a global skin so if you actually do this and you save everything and compile and reload your page okay now all the fields are with this color but we wanted it just for one field so the right way to do that would be to actually assign a name here so let's call this um, let's say shy2 okay and then we know that shy2 is a style that applies to the content of an AF input text okay and, and then we can go over to our page select this field and set the inline style so I tell the style class to be shy2 and when we do this we get a specific field highlighted okay save it compile it go back to the page and now we got this specific field with a specific color so again the trick is go over define a custom skin in your custom skin define the styles that you want if you need to um, specifically color an area of a component you can basically use this type of notation after your style name